<laughs> so for my wedding, I'm going to be making some treats to have on the evening buffet. Um, and one of the treats that I'm making for it are Mickey and Minnie Mouse bride and groom cake pops. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to make them strawberry flavored and let's get going. <laughs> Here are the ingredients that we're going to need. You'll need two and a half cups of self-raising flour, some vanilla frosting, strawberry flavored Nesquik, one teaspoon of baking powder, a half cup of water, as well as a half cup of sugar and two tablespoons of milk, three eggs, plenty of white chocolate and plenty of regular milk or dark chocolate, some white fondant, a dash of vanilla extract, and three-fourths cup of non-fat yogurt. To make the Mickey and Minnie shapes, I got these really cool molds at Tesco and they were only a pound. <laughs> and we'll also need the sticks that we're going to put the cake pops on. <laughs> we're going to start out by combining the eggs and the sugar. So crack the eggs, add the sugar to the bowl, and whisk them together. Next, in a separate mixing bowl, I'm going to sift in my two and a half cups of self-raising flour. Then I'm going to add a dash of salt, as well as my Nesquik, and I'm going to add five tablespoons of this to the mix. Now I'm going to measure out my yogurt, and then add it to the flour. And we also add our egg and sugar mixture. Then the two tablespoons of milk and the half cup of water. Give it a stir, and lastly add the dash of vanilla. To make it look more pink and like strawberries, I'm going to add a bit of food coloring. And then I have a deep cake pan here that I'm going to pour the mixture into. And then we place it in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes because it's a very deep cake pan. <laughs> um, the cake turned out a bit puffier than I expected, but we're going to crumble it up so that's okay. <laughs> so we're going to let it cool a bit, and then we're going to get a big bowl out, take off the crusty bits of the cake, and then crumble it into the bowl. You should be left with something that looks like this. <laughs> then we're going to take the frosting and add about 4 or 5 tablespoons of that to the cake crumble. Once we're happy with the cake pop filling, we're going to take our Mickey and Minnie Mouse cake pop molds and pack the cake inside of it and then put the top on and squish them together. They should come out looking like this. Now we're going to take the cake pop sticks and melt a little bit of white chocolate, dip the end of the stick in there, and then stick it into the cake pop. This way it kind of secures it. <laughs> and now we pop these in the freezer. While those are setting up, I'm going to melt the chocolate. I'm going to start with the Minnie Mouse Bride Cake Pops. <laughs> so we take the frozen cake and dip it into the white chocolate, tap it on the side, and let it dry. I'm also going to set up a pipey bag and put the rest of my frosting in there. Then I'm going to take my white fondant to make little white bows and then do little swirl designs over the entire cake. Aw, they turned out cute! <laughs> now I'm going to melt the dark chocolate, dip the frozen Mickey ones in there, and decorate them with a little frosting bow and little frosting shirt. <laughs> and here's the finished product! I had Tom do a taste test for me and he really, really liked them. <laughs> Also, I started doing art giveaways on Twitter, and so this is this week's piece. You can go to Twitter right now and enter. All you have to do is favorite and retweet the tweet. <laughs> and links to my Twitter will be in the below. 